Good evening, everybody. Good to see you. Let's roll. This is my passion. I love throwing people around. <laughs> For the past 40 years, Aikido, a martial art, has been a huge part of my life. Aikido literally means the way of harmonious energy. By some, the art of peace, where we peacefully throw our training partners around and twist their arms. <laughs> When I have told people what I love to do, one of the responses has been, unfortunately, I'd hate to meet you in a dark alley. But myself and other martial artists would be the ones to keep you from going into that dark alley because we want to stop the struggle before it begins. Or they say, show me something. Let me see how that Aikido stuff works. Well, it looks like fighting, but it's not. For the most of us, we practice in order not to use it. Martial arts looks cool in the movies, but it's all made up. I started studying martial arts for a reason many other people do, self-defense. But not because of street thugs, per se, but maybe because of bullies. Because I think bullies go far beyond the playgrounds of our youth. They're still out there. So when bullies don't think winning is an option, they stop doing what they do. Self-confidence is another good goal for studying, uh, practicing martial arts, but as Yoda said, wars don't make one great. And besides, you can learn self-confidence by signing up for a pachakacha talk. That clipboard's going around in intermission. Put your name on it. <laughs> Self-discipline is another reason. This is Ron Dory. Multiple attacks, two, three, four, five people on one. And personally, I don't know of a better way to learn how to relax and breathe <clears throat> under pressure. Using and being able to think clearly and staying in control. Now, as you've watched some of these techniques and these throws, you might wonder how we do that. Or you might say, what's the use? Well, this is one of them, falling. Because those techniques wouldn't take place unless the person being thrown knows how to do this. Falling is as important in a self-defense and confidence and discipline. And it's not just the fall, it's learning how to get down there. Shoot, we spend our lives learning how to walk, but we spend just a fraction of our time learning to go back down there. And not only that, how to get back up with a little bit of grace. If you were to walk in to a dojo, an Aikido dojo tomorrow, we get you on the mat after teaching a few lessons of etiquette, and then teach you how to roll and how to fall. We call this receiving the energy from the technique. The role of the person who gets to take that fall is as important as the one doing the technique. I found even off the mat that receiving, and I spend more time receiving the energy from others than I do dishing it out. Falling, I think, and receiving energy is one of the primary lessons that a lot of people take out of learning Aikido. My best story is about an eight-year-old Aikido student of mine who jumped off his sled and did a forward Aikido roll. As his mom watched in horror, two guys on a toboggan were about ready to T-bone him. He saved his life. My next best story is about a friend of mine who was in a bicycle road race. She was run off the road by a driver, and as her bike went down the hill, she hit a bump, went over the handlebars, into an Aikido roll, landed on both tires with both feet still in the pedals. That's amazing. She's in the audience, by the way, too. Each and every one of us is on the edge. We're all on the edge of falling because every time we walk, it's a controlled fall. I'll bet you the last time you took a fall, did you say, wow, that was fun, I want to do that again? Probably not. You might have been a little bit scared. Because 8 million people a year visit the ER for slips and falls. 20,000 die. Less than 1% of that 8 million are robbed or assaulted. Maybe that's another good reason to learn how to fall as a defense against the ground. There's two fears we're born with, so say behavioral scientists, and no, the fear of public speaking isn't one of them. <laughs> it's the fear of falling and the fear of sudden loud noises. The other two fears we grew up with, so they say, is the fear of death 
and the fear of going crazy. So it's not surprising that slips and falls might scare us very well to death. I didn't bring a mattress tonight to show you how to fall. Visit a dojo if you're interested in learning some of this. If not, consider some of the other arts that are out there, yoga, qigong, tai chi, because all of these will teach you to relax and understand the wisdom of our bodies. There's so much to learn about what we're capable of. Tension on the way down can hurt you as much as the fall itself. Learn to be supple and flexible in your bodies and minds because we're physical creatures as much as emotional creatures. Learning how to relax in our bodies can help us in the other falls we'll probably take. Hey, it's almost Valentine's Day. We fall in love. We fall out of love. We fall from grace. Things fall into our laps and things fall apart. It's not a matter of resisting the falls like this guy. As you walk out tonight, I invite you to take a look at the ground as you walk. <laughs> Create a relationship with the ground. Watch as your feet fall with each step. One of my students took a picture of me a couple of weeks ago. At 62 years old, I have taken 750,000 falls in Aikido since I started. And I too have slipped on the ice and fell, and in other ways too. Tonight, wherever you go, whatever you do, and whoever you meet, I invite you to watch every step you take. Thank you.